You know what they say about opinions and advice? They're just like assholes. Everyone's got one. The problem is when you're in your 20s or you're in your 30s and you're trying to figure out the path to build a great life or to figure out what to do, if you listen to other people, you're gonna guaranteed be going down the wrong path because you're not trusting yourself in the process. Now what's interesting is that some of my most consistently high performing videos here have been on the best career advice for your 20s and your 30s. So in this video, I want to follow up and share one of the best pieces of advice I've ever learned. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. So I've included the first link below this video. If you are trying to figure out your ideal career, you're trying to figure out your dream job, the first link below this video can help you figure out exactly what it is you want from your life and how to make it happen or how to actually find it. So you can check it out right below this video. The big thing for me, especially in your 20s, is don't chase the best job. The tendency when you get out of school or you're in the professional world is to just go find the best job you can get and that's usually dictated by prestige or the income. Look, when I got out of school in my early 20s, most of my friends got these good jobs that were paying way more than what I was making. A lot were making $60,000 or more out of school and I was earning like 35 or 40,000 working as a teaching assistant in New York in a high school. But for me, the main thing was that I was always a more meaning and purpose-driven person. I almost never did anything just for the money. And so as time went on though, as we inched closer and closer to 30, my friends, their salaries increased. But around their late 20s, they kind of plateaued. So maybe 60, 70, 80,000, but that was the end. You know, that was the end forever because that was the upper ceiling and that was the upper limit on their career in their field. Now, if you look at my trajectory, my income was quite low throughout almost my entire 20s. I mean, almost abysmally low, but that's because I took risks and I took chances on my dream. I bought a one-way ticket to China. I had built and failed multiple businesses and eventually built one, Modern Health Monk, that ended up working out. But the problem was that it was completely non-linear, right? Like I expected this clean trajectory like my friends had in their day jobs. But the thing was by 30, which is still really just the beginning of your life, they were stuck and now I was skyrocketing. Choose skills, learning, and growth. That was the big difference because I feel like my career is just beginning and the next 10 years are gonna be exponential, 10X what I've done. But the reason for that is just because I've always chosen choosing skills, meaning getting better at something, choosing learning over money, which means often choosing less money or even working for free just to learn those skills, and then choosing growth, which means even if you're getting paid a high salary, if you don't feel like you're growing and improving and the work is not meaningful or doesn't contribute to anyone, then don't do it. It's time to move on and to not be so afraid that what'll happen if I lose my high paying, my lucrative job I have here. So if the big picture is to choose learning and growth and skills over money, let me give you an example. Let's say you're 22 or 23. You just get out of school and you're a software engineer. So you know there are crazy prospects where you live, that it's a lucrative job, and you have two tracks to go on. One is you go work for one of these tech companies in San Francisco. The second is you build a meaningful startup to you or you join a startup team where you're not even getting paid. It's just a bunch of cool people trying to build some cool stuff. If I were you, if you really wanna play the long game, take the thing that is the risk. Take the thing that is learning, testing, failing. There's could be huge, could be nothing, could be in the middle. Because the point is, as you get older, you can always earn more money. And of course, you can always be frustrated by money. But the thing is, the more you value getting better, guaranteed, the more you will get paid, even if that's all you care about. So if you have this, it's like the Robert Frost, two paths in the woods. You take the safe route that's proven. You take the route that's unknown. It's the path through the woods in the middle of the night. But there may be a promised land and there may not be. But if you focus on becoming someone who's addicted to acquiring those valuable skills, to getting better at what you do, and to value your life over your career, which just means you value learning, 
an improvement over the short-term satisfaction, you're going to guaranteed be way more successful than you would have been anyway. So I hope that helps. Again, that first link below is for a goal-setting worksheet. could help you figure out what it is you really want and how to make the most of your 20s, your 30s, or even your 50s by living a growth-oriented, deliberate life. All right, you can check it out down there below and then the two recent videos right here.